If you have already created objects, Illustrator provides the option to attach them to an active plane on the perspective grid. So here's what you have to do to make it happen. Of course, we need to have both the perspective grid up and we have to have an object we want to attach to a certain plane. So luckily, I got both here, the perspective grid and a window that I want to attach to a plane. I will select the plane I want by pressing number 3 on my keyboard, which will select the right plane. Now I will grab the window and try to attach it to the right plane, but notice that it is not working. So what's wrong then? Well, nothing is wrong, we just didn't use the right tool. To attach the window to the plane, let's grab the perspective selection tool and now move it over the plane. You can see that instantaneously the window is getting attached to the right plane. And of course we can transform it just like any other piece of artwork. We can move it around, we can change its size, we can duplicate it, and we can duplicate it even further. What's interesting about attaching objects to the perspective planes is that if we change our mind, we can just press a numerical key corresponding with a different plane. For example, I can move the window around and tell Illustrator to attach it to a different plane just by pressing 1, 2 or 3. There is also one little trick you can use when creating parallel objects, such as the walls of a room. All you need to do is to grab an object attached to a plane, and by the way, you can check it by going to the object menu, perspective, attach to active plane. And when you start moving it around, just press 5 on your keyboard. As soon as you do that, the object moves in parallel motion. You can clone it at the same time if, of course, you can manage to hold both 5 and Alt or Option on your keyboard. Another option is to move your objects in a precise perpendicular movement. And to do this, I'll need to double-click the required plane widget using the perspective selection tool. All I have to do is to find my perspective plane widget for the right plane. The easy way to do this is to follow your perspective vanishing point all the way to the end and then just double-click on it. In this pop-up window, you can set the vanishing plane options. I'm going to choose 50 points and I'm going to tell it to move the objects. I can also go on a step back and tell Illustrator to copy the objects like so. This is how you can attach and control objects you have already created to a perspective plane. In the next video, we will talk about something particularly useful for logo and poster design. We'll talk about creating text and symbols in perspective, so if you're interested in that, just keep watching.